In today's video, we are starting a new series called the Fit Girl Era. And we're kicking off this series with a full grocery haul. Since I'm now in a bodybuilding building phase, my foods have changed a bit and I have more flexibility. So I'm gonna walk you through my plans for building muscle, the foods I always have on deck and some new life updates. So let's jump into the video. Come here, look at your little legs just, just, just dangling. <laughs> I always wanted a dog that, that liked to be carried because I love carrying my puppy. So whenever I got him, I started carrying him around the house like this. And now he like always wants me to carry him like this. I love you. YouTube said they wanted to see more vision. So we're going to give them more vision. Anyways. Welcome to the first video of the Fit Girl Era series. I thought the best way to start off this, ow, 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 don't pull my hair. The first video to start off this series is gonna be a grocery haul. So my groceries have kind of shifted a little bit from prep. So I have specific, okay, you want down now? Okay, you don't want all the attention. I have specific foods that I have when I'm on prep versus when I'm on off season because it's very limited. So I kind of wanted to show you the different things that I get at the store when I am off season versus on season. So we're gonna create a grocery list. And really the purpose of this new series is to update you guys first on this video, like what the plans are going forward with this year. Oh my God, it's already this year. With competing and what we're going to do. And during this series, we're going to, basically the purpose is to increase my calories as much as we can while still maintaining the physique that I have now and simultaneously building muscle. So we put on a lot of size this year in my glutes and hamstrings, which was the main focus. And I'm so happy that we did because I literally saw a video of my glutes the other day and I was like, <laughs> like they were like the boom. And I was so proud because we cut down on training quads and we really focused on training glutes and hamstrings solely and it really helped. So that's besides the point. We'll get into more details later, but let's do a grocery list. This little grocery list is so perfect. It's on Amazon and literally it's just goes right here. And then anytime that something is just missing, I can just write it down. So what I do know is I need a little bit more eggs. So I'm going to get some huevos. One thing that I also do when I'm at the grocery store, cause I know that I always go to the same grocery store, but I will write what I need in order in which I go around the store. So I always go into the store first to the fruits and vegetables aisle. And then I go like in a circle and I end at like the, the makeup and stuff like that. So I always write it in that order so that it's just easy for me to walk around always thinking for my omelets in the morning i've been doing like an egg white omelet so what i've been doing is see we are sparse i will pre-chop up green onions and pre-chop uh bell peppers and i'll saute them and then make my um little omelet i also need some avocados because i've been doing the egg whites omelet, and then to get a little bit of fats in the morning from the avocado, I'll put that on top. So we're gonna do avocado, green onion, peppers. Okay, what else do we need? We need some sort of fruit. So I think I'm gonna get blueberries and strawberries. What else? I'm running a little bit low on my coffee creamer. I've been getting the Planet Oat uh, coffee creamer. This one was the Christmas one. It was gingerbread. It was so good. But uh, it's it's running a little sparse. We're gonna get some of that creamer. 
I also really want, because you guys know, I've already talked about this in my favorites video, but I love the LMNT hydration sticks so much, but I don't want to have them in every single glass that, of water that I drink because it's just like way too much and I will be going through them way too quickly. So I'm gonna get lemons and cucumbers and I'm gonna pre-chop them up because in between, I only have two hydration sticks a day. I have one in the morning right when I wake up so I can instantly be hydrated because I usually go to cardio and then I have one during my workout while I'm sweating and putting a lot of energy out. So in between then, I'm gonna have like a lemon and cucumber infused water so that it can be exciting because water by itself is so boring. I also need some butter. Look at this cute little butter tray I have. Look how adorable it is. So I get the, I can't believe it's not butter, and I'll put it on my toast in the morning for my breakfast. The breakfast that I've been having is just so good. It's like an egg white omelet. I'll have a little side of berries, whether it's strawberries or bloobs, bloobs. And then I'll have two slices of Ezekiel bread. So typically this is on my grocery list, but we already have uh, plenty, so I don't need to get it. Also, reorganized my pantry. Look how beautiful it is. Don't look too closely. But I'm out of pancake mix, which is the Kodiak pancake mix. Zach loves this. Zach will have the pancake mix and he'll throw in some chocolate chips, which are missing. So I'm gonna get some chocolate chips uh, for Zach because he loves those. We're good on rice. I always make sure that we have enough jasmine rice because we cook. That's something that we always have and I make sure that we have it stocked. We also always have stocked uh, quick oats. I love the quick oats because uh, they're quick and I don't have to sit around and like actually make it. It makes in the microwave within 60 seconds, which is great. So we're good on, we have our carb sources, jasmine rice, we have oats. We have another carb and protein source from the pancake mix, which I'm gonna get that. Kodiak. Cakes. Now, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Meat. So, you might be asking, why, Julia, do you not have any meat on your list? Because I order from Mega Fit Meals every week. Also, look at how many sauces we have. So many sauces. But, we get our protein delivered to us every single week because that is the thing that's the most time consuming and takes a lot. So it came early this week, so now I just have to get like the extra sides. So I get it a pound of shrimp so that I have a lean protein source. I always want to have one or two lean protein sources regardless if I'm on season or off season and one or two fatty sources like uh, salmon, beef, steak, stuff like that. So we have cod and shrimp as our lean protein, and then we have steak as our fatty protein, and then another carb source of sweet potato slices. This food is so freaking good. Of course, like I am sponsored by them, so you might be saying that I'm biased, but anybody that has tried this out of my friends and family have absolutely loved it. When I went and stayed at my sister's before Christmas, I accidentally left my meals there and she would, I was like, just go ahead and eat them, like have them. And she's like, this steak was amazing, so good. So I don't have to spend the extra time to make it. And it's actually so much better because ain't nobody got time for that. So if you're able to just have them delivered to your house a la carte and you have your proteins ready to go. Okay, I have enough egg whites. I have a backup egg white, so I think we're good on that. I feel like there's something that I'm missing. I have energy drinks, so it's always something that I make sure that I have because I got problems. So, a little life update because I know that you guys have probably been wondering and asking and wondering and asking when I'm going to be competing again. So I didn't know. That's why I didn't really start a new series. I didn't update you guys because I didn't know myself. Ew, I had something on my mouth. So I checked in with my coach last week after having like two weeks off of, I wasn't, I was training like sparsely 
because uh, I was traveling for the holidays and stuff like that. And um, I was just off my meal plan and I was off from training. And I'm glad that I did that and needed a break. We took the break off of YouTube and I felt so much better because um, we've been going balls to the wall all year long. So taking a little break was nice for me and as for Ian, so Ian can hang out with his mommy. So I checked in with my coach and we got like a general outline of what the goal is for next year. So my first official show tentatively is going to be June 1st. So if we backtrack like four months, that means we'll potentially be starting February-ish, mid-February, because I'm starting at a way better point physically like my body than we did last year uh, or last season which is amazing so the goal is right now to maintain the physique that I have um, so that when we do start prep that it's going to be a lot easier on my body and we can get leaner a lot quicker so I'm super excited about that because this is the best starting point that I have had since I started competing. Zach actually told me that the other day at the gym. Um, and I know that sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually a really good thing because the last time that I had the best starting point was like in 2019 when I started prepping for my first show ever. Um, and then that got canceled three weeks out because COVID hit in 2020. So, Ever since there, then I had struggled with, you know, just maintaining a, a physique that's lean enough in the off season so that when I start my season, I don't have to like tr just work like so hard for no reason. So that's the goal, maintain this physique, build muscle, increase calories the, mo the most that we can because we were in a deficit. We had a lot of diet breaks during the cut that we did so we never got to the amount of calories that was so low that i felt like absolutely terrible which is amazing um but yeah got them green grapes yellow grapes red grapes i love getting these the jumbo ones i don't know why they just taste better than the regular ones so i'm getting three strawberries you gotta find the ones that are the reddest. We got a pepper. And we got two cucumbers for my water. Cause I'm fancy like that. There's a deal. <laughs> this is my favorite flavor. I already have some at home, but this is my favorite flavor and it's cold. This is my favorite flavor, but Zach loves the buttermilk, so I relent and get the buttermilk. <sighs> like a new coffee creamer. Which one? Cinnamon roll, chocolate caramel? Cinnamon roll. It's fine. Go with the opposite. Now I'm just gonna hate it. No, I'm just kidding. Can't believe it's not butter. Okay, we got everything we needed. Now, one thing that I was talking about earlier but lost my train of thought about, what our plan is for like the show. So our plan would be first to do like a show that's June 1st and then compete in multiple shows after that. Because one thing with the bodybuilding industry is like the people that are judging the competitions they want to see you competing like they want to see your face on stage throughout the season instead of just like competing like every now and then so the goal would be to start competing june 1st and then hit a bunch of shows after that whether it's like two three or four so yeah that would be the goal we are back from the store also, they had these, which are super cute. They're little tea towels, and they're so my vibe. I just had to buy them, but that was not on the list. There's a couple things that I realized I needed when I got there that I forgot to look at, and literally, Ian was like, 
you should take some honey for your allergies because my allergies were so bad in the store, I don't know why. And I was like, crap, I need honey because I literally have nothing left. So I added honey to the list and I also needed almond butter because in the morning on my toasties, I have a little bit of almond butter and I have a little bit of honey as well. So we have, can't believe it's not butter. I have strawberries, we have blueberries, we have the chocolate chips that um, we put in the buttermilk pancakes. Zach likes the buttermilk. I like the dark chocolate because they literally, they taste like a brownie. I've been recently having one of these, like a serving before my workout and it's been providing me with so much energy for my lifts that I'm loving it. We ended up getting the cinnamon roll, zero sugar coffee creamer and I got three different types of fruits that I can like intertwine and switch throughout the day uh, for my breakfasts. Grapes, strawberries, blooms, lemons and cucumbers for the water. We have some very questionable looking green onions because they had, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to cut out the bad edges because they were like restocking stuff and they only had like the crappy ones left and there was no one restocking those. So I was like, I guess this is it. Avocados for breakfast as well. And I think that's it. So yeah, we're gonna put everything away and make it super pretty and organized. Cause look, get this before. You gotta get this before. Ugly. See, not, not organized. Gross. It's so organized. And in three, two, one. That is a fine work of art. Look at that. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Yep, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna keep it there and that doesn't look that great, but <laughs> there's just too many sauces for this to be organized. But look, as you see, bone broth. This is Zach's. Huevos, butter. We have our pre-cut stuff for our omelets already ready to go. We got some drink options, zero sugar, zero sugar, zero sugar. One of these rogue drinks, that's X. We have our protons and our neutrons. And no, we have our protons and we have our neutrons. These I'm gonna cut up later so that I have them ready to go for throwing them in my water. Then we have bloobs. That is it. You don't get to look. Oh, we also have chocolate and buttermilk pancake mix. I am a simple girl. How I like to spend my weekends is organizing my fridge, organizing my supplements, vacuuming the floor, folding my clothes, and doing all that stuff. That's really what brings me joy. And I'm not being sarcastic. You're literally the perfect housewife. I literally am. And you're still not married. And I'm still not married. Zach. Where are you at? <laughs> Honestly though, after the gingerbread Q&A thing, he's like, I started getting DMs asking when, <laughs> you, when you're gonna marry her. I mean, I literally love doing housewife stuff because it's just like, it's fun for me. But then also on the other side, like I'm a businesswoman and I'll get my shit together and all that stuff. But. That is our current grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. And I'm excited for this new series with you guys because we haven't done this in a hot minute and you're more powerful than you think. Bye.